For more tutorials, videos, and reviews, check out creatingtracks.com. Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com. So those are some of the sounds we picked last week, and this time I have a different set of chords. So last week we had... And this time... So I took the A sharp major, duplicated that over here, pitched it down by two half steps. Then I took the C minor, duplicated that over here, and then pitched it down by five half steps. So we have C minor, A sharp major, G sharp major, and G minor. So something like that. And then the way I like to approach this row over here is in two different ways. One is where I can duplicate this whole row of chords down to this empty row. So by duplicating each sound and then deleting the original sound. All right, and then also one thing I want to remind you is that we have a C, A sharp, C and A sharp over here. And here we have different chords. So I just have to keep in mind that I don't play these two chords when I'm playing these two bass notes. Because those two, they're not in the same key. So it's gonna sound off. So the way I like to approach this is uh, over here in these four, I'll take any bass samples that I made in Massive or Serum and I'll place them over here or even Vengeance samples. Or, and I also like to keep them consistent with my bass notes. So I'll have C, A and C and A so I can play them together and have a lot more dynamic stuff happening. Or the second option is I can undo all of this, delete all these. And in these four, I'll put a clap over here in this pad over here, any kind of percussion. So let's pick a clap. And I'm already in my Vengeance Essential Club Sounds Volume 5 folder. And you can do this from any EDM sample pack folder. And I know that I like this specific clap over here, right here. So I'm gonna pick this one and let's drag that to my sixth pad. And then in the pitch gate, let's change this from one shot to ADSR and then reduce the release. So it gives you flexibility for your snares. So what you can do is you can go into this pad mode and then you can link these two together. And we have a tutorial on linking in machine, which you can check over here by clicking this annotation. So we have this clap. So let's hold pad mode and then change the link to group one. And then on the snare, I'll do the same thing, group one. And let's make the clap a slave of the snare. So in the clap, we're gonna change it from master to slave. So now the clap will play on its own if I hit it and the snare will trigger the clap. All right, so something like that. And over here and here, I like to use downlifters and uplifters. So you can make your own downlifters and uplifters and tonal risers and white noise. And we have tutorials on how to make your own tonal riser, which you can click over here in this annotation. But for now, let's pick a white noise from our effects folder in the downlifter folder. And you can do this from any sample pack. Almost every EDM sample pack comes with white noises or some kind of downlifters. And I really like this specific one. And you can always pick something different. So I'm gonna stick with something simple and pick this white noise. And let's see. So it's kind of like, like a symbol, but it also has a big impact to the drop. All right, so that sounds pretty cool. And then in this pad right here, we can pick an uplifter. So some kind of a tonal riser, anything simple. And you can always follow our tonal riser tutorial to make your own. So I'm gonna stick with something that's in the key of C because our whole thing is in the key of C. And it can honestly be in any kind of key cause you can tune that later. But for now, I'm just gonna pick something that's already in the key of C.
All right, so I'm going to pick this because it's pretty simple and it's also very easy to make. And I'll place that on the eighth pad. And let's change the polyphony to legato. And that way it's only going to play one instance at a time. And even for this one, we'll do the same. I'm going to stop doing that. So in this uplifter, let's change the one shot to 80 SR and bring down the release a bit. We're going to discuss finger practicing and training in the future tutorial, so definitely stay tuned for that. And then in this pad, I like to pick something very random. So you can pick anything from any kind of tonal sound. So let's see. I feel like I'm going to pick something really bad, so let's see. Something like this, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to sound as good as I want it to, but let's give it a shot. So something like that, or because over here we have a different chord now, I'll copy one of my bass notes to that pad, and then, and then pitch it down by two. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for a lot more. And we'll see you next time. Peace.